In particle physics, an elementary particle or fundamental particle is a subatomic particle with no substructure, thus not composed of other particles. Particles currently thought to be elementary include the fundamental fermions quarks, leptons, antiquarks, and antileptons, which generally are «matter particles» and «antimatter particles», as well as the fundamental bosons gauge bosons and the Higgs boson, which generally are «force particles» that mediate interactions among fermions. A particle containing two or more elementary particles is a composite particle. Everyday matter is composed of atoms, once presumed to be matter's elementary particles, atom meaning, unable to cut, in Greek, although the atom's existence remained controversial until about 1910, as some leading physicists regarded molecules as mathematical illusions, and matter is ultimately composed of energy. Soon, subatomic constituents of the atom were identified. As the 1930s opened, the electron and the proton had been observed, along with the photon, the particle of electromagnetic radiation. At that time, the recent advent of quantum mechanics was radically altering the conception of particles, as a single particle could seemingly span a field as would a wave, a paradox still eluding satisfactory explanation. Via quantum theory, protons and neutrons were found to contain quarks up quarks and down quarks now considered elementary particles. And within a molecule, the electron's three degrees of freedom charge, spin, orbital can separate via the wavefunction into three quasiparticles holon, spinon, orbiton. Yet a free electron, which is not orbiting an atomic nucleus and lacks orbital motion, appears unsplittable and remains regarded as an elementary particle. Around 1980, an elementary particle's status is indeed elementary. An ultimate constituent of substance was mostly discarded for a more practical outlook, embodied in particle physics standard model, what's known as science's most experimentally successful theory. Many elaborations upon and theories beyond the standard model, including the popular supersymmetry, double the number of elementary particles by hypothesizing that each known particle associates with a shadow partner far more massive, although all such superpartners remain undiscovered. Meanwhile, an elementary boson mediating gravitation, the graviton remains hypothetical. Topic overview: All elementary particles are, depending on their spin, either bosons or fermions. These are differentiated via the spin statistics theorem of quantum statistics. Particles of half-integer spin exhibit Fermi-Dirac statistics and are fermions. Particles of integer spin, in other words full integer, exhibit Bose-Einstein statistics and are bosons. Notes 1. The antielectron e is traditionally called positron. 2. The known force carrier bosons all have spin. 1 and are therefore vector bosons. The hypothetical graviton has spin. 2 and is a tensor boson, whether it is a gauge boson as well, is unknown. In the standard model, elementary particles are represented for predictive utility as point particles. Though extremely successful, the standard model is limited to the microcosm by its omission of gravitation and has some parameters arbitrarily added but unexplained. <laughs> Common elementary particles. According to the current models of Big Bang nucleosynthesis, the primordial composition of visible matter of the universe should be about 75% hydrogen and 25% helium-4 in mass. Neutrons are made up of one up and two down quarks, while protons are made of two up and one down quark. Since the other common elementary particles such as electrons, neutrinos, or weak bosons are so light or so rare when compared to atomic nuclei, we can neglect their mass contribution to the observable universe's total mass. Therefore, one can conclude that most of the visible mass of the universe consists of protons and neutrons, which, like all baryons, in turn consist of up quarks and down quarks. Some estimates imply that there are roughly 1080 baryons, almost entirely protons and neutrons in the observable universe. The number of protons in the observable universe is called the Eddington number. 
In terms of number of particles, some estimates imply that nearly all the matter, excluding dark matter, occurs in neutrinos, and that roughly 1086 elementary particles of matter exist in the visible universe, mostly neutrinos. Other estimates imply that roughly 1097 elementary particles exist in the visible universe not including dark matter, mostly photons and other massless force carriers. Standard model The standard model of particle physics contains 12 flavors of elementary fermions, plus their corresponding antiparticles, as well as elementary bosons that mediate the forces and the Higgs boson, which was reported on July 4, 2012, as having been likely detected by the two main experiments at the Large Hadron Collider Atlas and CMS. However, the standard model is widely considered to be a provisional theory rather than a truly fundamental one, since it is not known if it is compatible with Einstein's general relativity. There may be hypothetical elementary particles not described by the standard model, such as the graviton, the particle that would carry the gravitational force, and sparticles, supersymmetric partners of the ordinary particles. Fundamental fermions The twelve fundamental fermions are divided into three generations of four particles each. Half of the fermions are leptons, three of which have an electric charge of minus one, called the electron E minus, the muon mu minus, and the tau, tau minus. The other three leptons are neutrinos nu e, nm nth, which are the only elementary fermions with no electric or color charge. The remaining six particles are quarks discussed below. Topic: Generations. Topic: Mass. The following table lists current measured masses and mass estimates for all the fermions using the same scale of measure, millions of electron volts (MeV). For example, the most accurately known quark mass is of the top quark T at 172.7 GeV c squared or 172,700 MeV c squared, estimated using the on-shell scheme. Estimates of the values of quark masses depend on the version of quantum chromodynamics used to describe quark interactions. Quarks are always confined in an envelope of gluons which confer vastly greater mass to the mesons and baryons where quarks occur, so values for quark masses cannot be measured directly. Since their masses are so small compared to the effective mass of the surrounding gluons, slight differences in the calculation make large differences in the masses. <laughs> Antiparticles. There are also 12 fundamental fermionic antiparticles that correspond to these 12 particles. For example, the antielectron positron E+ is the electron's antiparticle and has an electric charge of plus 1. Topic: <laughs> Quarks. Isolated quarks and antiquarks have never been detected, a fact explained by confinement. Every quark carries one of three color charges of the strong interaction, antiquarks similarly carry anticolor. Color charged particles interact via gluon exchange in the same way that charged particles interact via photon exchange. However, gluons are themselves color charged, resulting in an amplification of the strong force as color charged particles are separated. Unlike the electromagnetic force, which diminishes as charged particles separate, color charged particles feel increasing force. However, color-charged particles may combine to form color-neutral composite particles called hadrons. A quark may pair up with an antiquark, the quark has a color and the antiquark has the corresponding anticolor. The color and anticolor cancel out, forming a color-neutral meson. Alternatively, three quarks can exist together, one quark being red, another blue, another green. These three colored quarks together form a color-neutral baryon. Symmetrically, three antiquarks with the colors antiered, anti-blue, and anti-green can form a color-neutral antibaryon. Quarks also carry fractional electric charges, but, since they are confined within hadrons whose charges are all integral, fractional charges have never been isolated. 
Note that quarks have electric charges of either plus two-thirds or minus one-third, whereas antiquarks have corresponding electric charges of either minus two-thirds or plus one-third. Evidence for the existence of quarks comes from deep inelastic scattering, firing electrons at nuclei to determine the distribution of charge within nucleons which are baryons. If the charge is uniform, the electric field around the proton should be uniform and the electron should scatter elastically. Low energy electrons do scatter in this way, but, above a particular energy, the protons deflect some electrons through large angles. The recoiling electron has much less energy and a jet of particles is emitted. This inelastic scattering suggests that the charge in the proton is not uniform but split among smaller charged particles, quarks. <inaudible> <inaudible> Fundamental bosons In the standard model, vector spin one bosons, gluons, photons, and the W and Z bosons mediate forces, whereas the Higgs boson spin zero is responsible for the intrinsic mass of particles. Bosons differ from fermions in the fact that multiple bosons can occupy the same quantum state Pauli exclusion principle. Also, bosons can be either elementary, like photons, or a combination, like mesons. The spin of bosons are integers instead of half-integers. Topic. Gluons Gluons mediate the strong interaction, which join quarks and thereby form hadrons, which are either baryons three quarks or mesons one quark and one antiquark. Protons and neutrons are baryons, joined by gluons to form the atomic nucleus. Like quarks, gluons exhibit color and anticolor, unrelated to the concept of visual color, Sometimes in combinations, altogether eight variations of gluons. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> Electroweak bosons. There are three weak gauge bosons: W+, W-, and Z0. These mediate the weak interaction. The W bosons are known for their mediation in nuclear decay. The W- converts a neutron into a proton then decay into an electron and electron antineutrino pair. The Z0 does not convert charge but rather changes momentum and is the only mechanism for elastically scattering neutrinos. The weak gauge bosons were discovered due to momentum change in electrons from neutrino Z exchange. The massless photon mediates the electromagnetic interaction. These four gauge bosons form the electroweak interaction among elementary particles. Higgs boson Although the weak and electromagnetic forces appear quite different to us at everyday energies, the two forces are theorized to unify as a single electroweak force at high energies. This prediction was clearly confirmed by measurements of cross-sections for high-energy electron-proton scattering at the Hera Collider at DESY. The differences at low energies is a consequence of the high masses of the W and Z bosons, which in turn are a consequence of the Higgs mechanism. Through the process of spontaneous symmetry breaking, the Higgs selects a special direction in electroweak space that causes three electroweak particles to become very heavy the weak bosons and one to remain massless the photon. On 4 July 2012, after many years of experimentally searching for evidence of its existence, the Higgs boson was announced to have been observed at CERN's Large Hadron Collider. Peter Higgs who first posited the existence of the Higgs boson was present at the announcement. The Higgs boson is believed to have a mass of approximately 125 GeV. The statistical significance of this discovery was reported as 5 sigma, which implies a certainty of roughly 99.99994%. In particle physics, this is the level of significance required to officially label experimental observations as a discovery. Research into the properties of the newly discovered particle continues. Topic: <laughs> Graviton The graviton is a hypothetical elementary spin-2 particle proposed to mediate gravitation. While it remains undiscovered due to the difficulty inherent in its detection, it is sometimes included in tables of elementary particles. The conventional graviton is massless, although there exist models containing massive Kaluza-Klein gravitons.
Topic: Beyond the Standard Model. Although experimental evidence overwhelmingly confirms the predictions derived from the standard model, some of its parameters were added arbitrarily, not determined by a particular explanation, which remain mysteries, for instance the hierarchy problem. Theories beyond the standard model attempt to resolve these shortcomings. <laughs> <laughs> Grand unification One extension of the standard model attempts to combine the electroweak interaction with the strong interaction into a single grand unified theory gut. Such a force would be spontaneously broken into the three forces by a Higgs-like mechanism. The most dramatic prediction of grand unification is the existence of X and Y bosons, which cause proton decay. However, the non-observation of proton decay at the Super Kamiokande Neutrino Observatory rules out the simplest guts, including SU and SO Supersymmetry Supersymmetry extends the standard model by adding another class of symmetries to the Lagrangian. These symmetries exchange fermionic particles with bosonic ones. Such a symmetry predicts the existence of supersymmetric particles, abbreviated as sparticles, which include the sleptons, squarks, neutralinos, and charginos. Each particle in the standard model would have a superpartner whose spin differs by one half from the ordinary particle. Due to the breaking of supersymmetry, the sparticles are much heavier than their ordinary counterparts, they are so heavy that existing particle colliders would not be powerful enough to produce them. However, some physicists believe that sparticles will be detected by the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. Topic: <inaudible> <inaudible> String theory. String theory is a model of physics where all particles that make up matter are composed of strings measuring at the Planck length that exist in an 11-dimensional according to M theory the leading version or 12-dimensional according to F theory universe these strings vibrate at different frequencies that determine mass electric charge color charge and spin a string can be open a line or closed in a loop a one-dimensional sphere like a circle as a string moves through space it sweeps out something called a world sheet String theory predicts 1 to 10 brins, a 1 brin being a string and a 10 brin being a 10-dimensional object that prevent tears in the fabric of space using the uncertainty principle, e.g., the electron orbiting a hydrogen atom has the probability, albeit small, that it could be anywhere else in the universe at any given moment. String theory proposes that our universe is merely a 4 brin inside which exist the three space dimensions and the one time dimension that we observe. The remaining seven theoretical dimensions either are very tiny and curled up and too small to be macroscopically accessible or simply do not, cannot exist in our universe because they exist in a grander scheme called the multiverse outside our known universe. Some predictions of the string theory include existence of extremely massive counterparts of ordinary particles due to vibrational excitations of the fundamental string and existence of a massless spin-2 particle behaving like the graviton. Topic. Technicolor Technicolor theories try to modify the standard model in a minimal way by introducing a new QCD-like interaction. This means one adds a new theory of so-called technoquarks, interacting via so-called technogluons. The main idea is that the Higgs boson is not an elementary particle but a bound state of these objects. Prion theory According to Prion theory there are one or more orders of particles more fundamental than those or most of those found in the standard model. The most fundamental of these are normally called prions, which is derived from pre-quarks. In essence, Prion theory tries to do for the standard model what the standard model did for the particle zoo that came before it. Most models assume that almost everything in the standard model can be explained in terms of three to half a dozen more fundamental particles and the rules that govern their interactions. Interest in prions has waned since the simplest models were experimentally ruled out in the 1980s. <laughs> <laughs> Topic. Acceleron theory 
Accelerons are the hypothetical subatomic particles that integrally link the newfound mass of the neutrino to the dark energy conjectured to be accelerating the expansion of the universe. In theory, neutrinos are influenced by a new force resulting from their interactions with accelerons. Dark energy results as the universe tries to pull neutrinos apart. Topic: See also Notes Further reading General readers Feynman, R. P. and Weinberg, S. 1987 Elementary Particles and the Laws of Physics, the 1986 Dirac Memorial Lectures. Cambridge Univ. Press. Ford, Kenneth W. 2005 the Quantum World. Harvard Univ. Press. Brian Greene The Elegant Universe. W. W. Norton & Company. ISBN 978-0-393-05858-1. John Gribben Q is for Quantum, an Encyclopedia of Particle Physics. Simon & Schuster. ISBN 0-684-85578-X. Order, Robert 2006, The Theory of Almost Everything, The Standard Model, The Unsung Triumph of Modern Physics. Plume. Shum, Bruce A. 2004, Deep Down Things, The Breathtaking Beauty of Particle Physics. Johns Hopkins University Press. ISBN 0-8018-7971-X. Martinus Veltman 2003. Facts and Mysteries in Elementary Particle Physics. World Scientific. ISBN 978-981-238-149-1. Frank Close 2004, Particle Physics, A Very Short Introduction. Oxford, Oxford University Press. ISBN 978-0-19-280434-1. Seiden, Abraham 2005. Particle Physics, A Comprehensive Introduction. Addison Wesley. ISBN 978-0-8053-8736-0 Topic Textbooks Bettini, Alessandro 2008 Introduction to Elementary Particle Physics. Cambridge Univ. Press. ISBN 978-0-521-88021-3 Coughlin, G. D., J. E. Dodd, and B. M. Gripios 2006 The Ideas of Particle Physics, An Introduction for Scientists, 3rd ed. Cambridge Univ. Press. An undergraduate text for those not majoring in physics. Griffiths, David J. 1987 Introduction to Elementary Particles. John Wiley & Sons. ISBN 0-471-60386-4. Kane, Gordon L. 1987. Modern Elementary Particle Physics. Perseus Books. ISBN 978-0-201-11749-3. Perkins, Donald H. 2000 Introduction to High Energy Physics, 4th ed. Cambridge Univ. Press. Topic: External links. The most important address about the current experimental and theoretical knowledge about elementary particle physics is the Particle Data Group, where different international institutions collect all experimental data and give short reviews over the contemporary theoretical understanding. Particle Data Group Other pages are Green, Brian. Elementary Particles. The Elegant Universe, Nova PBS. Particleadventure.org, a well-made introduction also for non-physicists. CERN Career, Season of Higgs and Melodrama Pentaquark Information Page Interactions. Org, Particle Physics News Symmetry Magazine, a joint Fermilab, Slack publication. Sized Matter, Perception of the Extreme Unseen. Michigan University Project for Artistic Visualization of Subatomic Particles Elementary Particles Made Thinkable, an interactive visualization allowing physical properties to be compared.